Hey! Don't touch that! Who was that? It's me! Here, Fred! Don't touch what? To the duck. It's my friend. We've been friends since years. I also had a bunny friend before, but I was so happy and loud to realize I can finally talk that I scared her away. She jumped through that hole under John over there, so we shouldn't talk too loud. I don't want her to go even further. Where did you get that duck? He's been always here. It looks like my favorite duck I always played with when I was a child. This is a different one. This should still be in our bathroom. I'm sure yours is there. Are you a talking tree? Yeah, what is so surprising about that? Nothing. Clearly nothing. Except that trees don't really talk. Did you see anyone come across here? I am looking for my cows. I'm not sure if I should tell you. Why not? Not sure. They helped me too. Well, Ducky, what do you think? Tell me, please. Not that he could stop this, right? Did you say something? Okay. Ducky says we can tell you. So, there was a car passing by an hour ago. What car? It was... well... leaf-colored. And... You mean green? I guess. And there were some cows inside. They went that way. You realize that I don't see where you are pointing at, right? Oh, uh, the way where the cliff is. How did the car look, like, besides the color? It was like... like a bus, but smaller. Uh, like a minivan. Yeah, a minivan. That's a better word to describe it. How is it that you don't know the word green, but you know what a minivan is? How is that you are talking to a tree and expect it to solve all your problems? Well, anyways, it looks like the cows didn't escape by themselves. Somebody put them in my family's car and stole them along with the car. That doesn't sound good. Never mind, I gotta go. How could I get there? Maybe with a rope? If I throw it on the wood, it should hold me. Do you have any idea how I could cross that cliff? If you can jump far enough, you can easily cross. If not, then you can't. And you die. Well, that is great advice. Thanks! I was being sarcastic. Oh. So you liked that bunny? Oh, yes! She was so cute with that leash on her neck. Leash? Yes, like a dog leash. Except, uh, it was a bunny leash. Ah, I miss her. But I need to stay calm. Why exactly? My roots tighten when I get too emotional. The bunny would probably feel that under the ground and would run away. I don't want to do anything that can scare her away. Hmm. Look at all those tall trees, just standing and doing nothing, like Fred. I noticed something while looking around. What's that? Well, you seem to be so alone here. Why? There's John, there's Pete, Sophie, Kate. All my friends are around me. But they can't talk, right? Well, they can't. Why are you asking this? Isn't that makes you feel lonely? Just standing here without talking to anyone? It is a little, now that you ask. I wasn't thinking about it so far, though. Thanks. You're welcome. I was being sarcastic. Everyone you ever cared about is gone. I mean, they still live, but you changed, for good. And they didn't change with you. This is my home, my life. I don't need anything else. You should leave now. I should say something else to him, I guess. far away. I hope I can get there someday. Oh, maybe I can make Fred more excited by telling him about the future, about the possibilities.
You lost your old life, but you could go anywhere, discover the world. I'm not interested in these stupid things. Here you are with your big brain. You can talk, but can you tell me, how do you see your future? It doesn't matter. Look at me. I have two legs. I can run. I can climb mountains. I am able to go and experience this amazing, wonderful world. I... I just... Don't you want to see the ocean? With its help, you could drift anywhere. Please, just... Believe me, it's beautiful. Or you could just die here, alone, without any excitement. No, I don't want to hear anything from you. I won't leave my friends here. This is my home. You know how it feels? Losing your home and all your loved ones? I'd rather die here than leave everything behind. All right, then. Just leave. Great. She is definitely gone now. Eat this, little beaver. I guess it will knock him out for a few minutes. Hey, about the earlier... Can I just... No, don't apologize. Yes, I have to. I didn't want to hurt you. I just wanted to make you a little emotional. I had to find my cows or my father kills me. There was no other option for me. No, you were right. Just standing here and doing nothing is pointless. If you hadn't said this, I would have just grown old and died here. I just needed a little time to get used to the thought. Cut me down. I want to be free. It's good for both of us. You can get across the cliff, and I'll be finally free, and I can discover this amazing world for myself. Okay. I thought you're dead. I'm not, but more adventures are waiting for me. But before I leave, please take my branch and keep it as a memory. From a tree, you set free. Okay. Do you really want to go? Yes, it was a pleasure to meet you. Goodbye, my friend. This can come in handy. Wow, now that he's gone, I miss him a little. More trash. What should I do with it? Who the hell left this big pile of trash here in the woods? I don't want to use it. Let's look around. It feels like opening a present on Christmas Day. You never know what treasure is waiting for you. Reminds me. I hope Santa left our backyard by now. I found something. Well, it's a deodorant. Never mind, people should be happy for what they get from life. At least that's what my father always says.
More trash. Is there anything here for me? Oh yes, matches! Look, Father, how happy I am! I wouldn't be surprised now if you could talk too. Hi, darling. I'm Melissa. But the question is, how do I look like? Well, you definitely look like a car. I know I got some weight on, got some rust, and my bumpers are not as tight as they were years ago. But do I look that bad? Honestly? I don't know. You're a car. I'm a human. Avoiding the question. Where's the thief? And the cows? Please, I would rather not talk about this. They are the reason I look like this. They? So there's not just one thief? Thief, bastard, trash, barbarian, all fits. They are all inside the house. Could you help me get inside? Well, I would, but... But what? Look at me. I look so terrible. And I can't do anything about it. I accept that. But a shining star from the sky could make me look a little better. Okay. If you give me one, I'll help. All right. I'll be back with the star. Do you have anything useful at the back? Maybe, but you have to find me a star first. I have a hammer now. It is holding tight to the plank. 